Hi there, we're going to unbox some Leviton load centers. These are pretty new on the market. Uh, just been on the market here for a couple of weeks. So, let's go. Let's see. Alright, so we're going to start unboxing this guy. Nice packing to keep it too dinged up in transit. It's pretty nice. Uh, a lot of times the, a regular panel, if you're not careful, you'll ding the corner of the cover or something because it doesn't have, because it doesn't have enough packing. So it's like they put a little thought into that. Some label strips, instructions, of course. Uh, right here. This is, looks like the bonding strap. So I'm uh, looking at it here, we have uh, our neutral connection over here with some extra terminals for some larger loads. This strap goes across. Looks like it here connects down to our neutral buses. And then this guy here, bonding strap to go between the neutral and the ground. So it looks like this side here is for your ground wires, and this would be for your neutral. But of course, if you're bonding your neutral and your ground, it would be the same, and there's a strap for that. So this guy's a 100 amp main breaker. I ordered this one for my shop. And uh, so here we have some uh, little covers to cover the, the line terminals on it. So they kind of snap in there. They're actually pretty nice. Looks like there's a little, some concentric knockouts um, that actually are pretty slick in there, actually. You don't have to mess with the boots. Uh, a lot of the new ones have these little rubber boots that go over it on the older panels to meet that current, that new code change. We've got a 100 amp breaker here. And then a uh, hot bus down the middle, just like a traditional panel. But this one has neutral bus down each side. So when you clip it in, it's going to clip into the hot, the neutral. And there's two pins on the side for our terminal. You'll see that one's kind of uh, silvery and one's kind of bronze. So that would be our neutral and our hot for the load of the breaker. And also I noticed over here, it's actually labeled on the back plate. This is uh, the breaker spot for a generator in, uh, interlock breaker so they sell a kit that I don't have for this that will interlock the main breaker the main breaker to the breaker in this top spot so if you have multiple power sources like a backup generator a manual backup generator that's where it would go so here we have some breakers uh, this guy here is a single pole 15 amp breaker got a nice uh, rocker switch on it. You see it's uh, white off. If you kind of go halfway, you'll see it's red and green on a little indicator strip in there. Then we have our hot uh, neutral over here and our load connections here. So this is gonna, should just snap right in here. You just hook, hook our hooks in there. Looks like there's a little space that they line up and they clip, clip right in. Uh, here we have a, an AFCI GFCI combo so you can see they're identical sizes So it's not this big thing hanging out. We don't have any pigtails For uh, AFCI's GFCI's or anything like that. They're, they're not offering any twin breakers for this panel either. So it's just full-size breakers um, So uh, yeah, I mean it's a uh, Looks slick that you know, it's 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 a beefy breaker too. Uh, so if I, if I pull out, this is my single pull 15, this is a 15 amp BR style breaker, if you kind of get a close up on this, we can kind of see the size comparison on the breakers. So this is a, a much deeper, beefier, 
uh, just it's even thicker. You know, it's a good eighth of an inch thicker breaker. So just all around, it's just a big, big, bigger appliance. It's got a little, the, the operation is a little smoother. This one has a little bit of click uh, uh, snap to it, you know, with the spring. This one here is, is, is a little smoother all the way around on that rocker switch. So the rocker switch is a little more modern. It's got a, a much more modern and sleeker look to it, which is which is kind of nice. Um, when it comes to that stuff, uh, that's a lot of window dressing in my mind. But what I really like is the technology in these breakers is really the next generation, um, and that's and that's just on the on the regular 15 amp. This uh, our our traditional breaker, which everybody's making, is a thermomagnetic breaker. It means that it's got a biometallic strip in it uh, for an overload condition. So they both use the same mechanism for that big short circuit or ground fault condition. But in an overload, this one uses a mag uh, bimetallic strip, and this one has a hydraulic mechanism, which is pulling a plunger through a hydraulic cylinder uh, in order to achieve that same function. So it should, in theory, run cooler. And I plan on running a few tests here at the shop to see if that's true with my infrared camera. But uh, it should run cooler, theoretically, and it uh, um, should have less nuisance tripping and shouldn't be affected so much by ambient temperature. So there's our breakers, there's our panel. Let's have a look at a uh, cover here. So, uh... All right, so now we're gonna have a look at the panel cover. Um, so let's see, we'll see if I ordered the right one here. So uh, I ordered several, several, several of these panels for a new construction project um, with my uh, uh, account set up that I have with my wholesale house. Um, I didn't have uh, the windows didn't get on the pricing factor, so I had to hold off on, on the window uh, panel covers. But this is the standard panel cover, and. First time I've pulled this guy out, but you can see uh, no more electrical gray. We're white, so uh, a little even on just the, the regular standard panel cover. Some white screws and some literature here, nothing special. You know that uh, first time I'm looking at this that. Uh, even that little uh, clip is a little nicer. Usually that's uh, usually that's just a little uh, kind of bent piece of plastic. But uh, I think that mechanism here is just a little nicer, even on that. So uh, you know, I think it's pretty standard. You have a knockout for your main. So whether if it's a main lug panel, you'll have to not knock that out. So no, and you know, it, it's got a good good heft to it. So it's a decent gauge steel, has some adjustment screws here so you can back that middle section back in and suck it in tight to the breaker if for some reason you're not quite as uh, snug with the uh, drywall as you would like to be. So um, I think that's about it. And uh, Leviton load centers, I think they're going to shake up the industry quite a bit when it comes to load centers. So there you go.